Hello everyone, my name is El Sonic, and welcome to Dota 2! Now, wow. Thing is, I was, I was gonna start up Dota 2, and this is the first thing I see. This. I was actually gonna start up Dota 2 to do part 4 for my, in, for Dota 2 and the internet, during the Internationals 2018. The first thing I see when I start the, the game is this. This is what I see. Apparently Dota 2 has a new character, a new hero, called Grimstroke. Introducing Grimstroke. Eh, no, I don't... Damn, how do I put this? What am I saying here? Well, I wasn't gonna... wasn't sure if I was gonna make a video, because... Okay, well, well I'm losing myself here. Excuse me. What I'm trying to say is... Let me try and collect my thoughts. Why well, this always happens when I'm trying to explain something, but... What I'm trying to say is... Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video or not about this, but when, as soon as I started up doing 2 and saw this, I was like, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to make a video about this, but my entire YouTube channel isn't focused on all on just one game. So I wasn't just going to make, I'm not going to try and cover everything about Dota 2. But that may happen if I do an episodic series with Dota 2, like I said I was going to do in part 1 of Dota 2, but... We'll see, I mean, the whole idea of doing episodic series where I play, you know, like episode 1, 2, 3, 4, how many times I play a game, I feel like I may do an episodic series with playing a certain game. That's if only if I play that game very often. If I play this game a whole lot often, I may do an episodic series with it. Instead of just literally covering everything about the game, because, I mean, there's another YouTuber out there, wow, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but... And actually covers everything about Dota 2. I mean, his entire channel is his entire channel is focused on everything about Dota 2. That guy, you can find you can find this YouTuber, and if you like Dota 2 or you want to find out about stuff about Dota 2 or never played before and stuff, this guy pretty much covers everything about Dota 2 and stuff, like how to play it, things like like that, and things or a lot of stuff in the game, like just. This guy's even a commentator. He's even been a commentator, like, in the internationals. Well, I don't know if he's, like, well, in some way in Dota 2, but, I don't know. Well, point is, his, he goes by the name Purge. You know, it's, his YouTube channel is Purge Gamer. He covers, he pretty much covers everything about Dota 2. His entire YouTube channel is Dota 2, but I can finally show you, like, Sensu or whatever, you can show you his, his channel or something at the end of this video, but really, I'm not the kind of person, like, I'm not gonna do everything about this game on my channel, but, but, yeah, you know, I feel like I'm the kind of person who would just jump from one game to another and not focus on, on my channel isn't focused on one game, my channel just goes from one game to another, and, but I may do episode series where I focus or I'm not just focused, but if that's only if I play a certain game more often, but yeah, that's that. So, really, I mean, when I started this up, I saw this on screen. This is Grimstroke. There's apparently a new hero in Dota 2, and this is the first thing I see, it's this guy. Now, let's talk about this now. Instead of that random thing I started talking about, but here we go. I mean, you guys can hear the audio, right? Yes, you can hear the audio, I'm sure of it. Let's see here. Oh well, I read this. I could read his bio and then we'll do a demo of stoke here. I just felt like I had to do a video on this guy when he popped up on my screen. I was really going to start trying to record a video on part 4, but this came up. I was like, hey, why not? Alright, like I'm not going to try and cover everything, but who knows? I mean, cover whatever I feel like covering when it comes to anything gaming related. Those are my show stuff that I'm gonna be doing in college, but. Alright, let's get on top. Let's get. Let's stay focused here on this. The video's about Grimstroke, this character here. But. Alright, so. I think I'll read his bio here for you guys. It says here Skilled at m introducing Grimstroke. He's a range support, nuker, disabler, skin. Oh, he's a support hero. I see. Though it says here, skilled at manipulating battle from the outskirts. Grimstroke studies every movement 
and assesses each line, deciding when to emerge from inky darkness to disable his victims and bind them together with a swipe of his brush. He delights in unleashing fandom thrall thralls to vex opponents as he carefully considers how to dispatch multiple enemies with one fatal stroke. I feel like I didn't really read everything there. I feel like I almost skipped something, but I don't know, there's something going on outside the other room. I was like, what the heck? What are they doing out there? Loud. But anyway, yeah, I just freeze his abilities. This is a new guy who just came on my screen. What the heck? What are we on? That's surprising. We start the game, and this is what I see. Stroke of Fate. Phantoms for Embrace. Ink Swell. Soul Time. Demo mode, Germ Stone, Drope, Punch into Demo mode to check out this item set. Or Heroes at Abilities, alright. I can go look at these abilities as I try and do them. Or I can read them right now before I go into... Yeah, let's just do a demo and see what this guy does. This is pretty neat. What this guy does, but how he plays and such. Alright, now I gotta go to... I don't lift up with these loading times. Oh, here we go. Finally. Oh, we're ready. Alright. Out of that loading screen. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Ooh, where's that? There he is. There's the character. Prepare for battle! Yeah. <laughs> What was that, Meepo? The announcer. <laughs> There's a new Meepo announcer. Stroke of Fate. Phantom's Embrace. Which ability shall I choose? Ink Spell. Grip Stroke Shrouds and Allies of Ink Unit and Ink. Increasing its movement speed while slice still. Wait, silencing and disarming it. As well as making it immune to attacks. Enemies in range of the Allied Unit are damaged with Inky. Tendrils. Over time, after three seconds, it triggers applying damage and stun in an area around the unit in proportion to how much ink tendril damage was inflicted across the duration. I'm not sure if I was clear on what I just said there, but yeah. This is for an ally, basically. But here's Fandom Inverse. Summons a fandom that moves quickly. To this is like this ability. I'm trying to figure out which ability I'll do here. I'm reading the abilities right now. Some of the phantom that moves quickly towards the target. Latch it to it when she arrives. What? Once latched, the phantom damages and silence if she survives the full latch duration. She rends her victim or heavy damage or refreshes phantoms over its cooldown. I'm confused. Summons phantom that moves quickly towards the target. Watching to get when she arrives. Who is she? Is the Phantom a she or is this character a she? I'm saying yes. Is Gripshook a male or female? I'm confused. I think the Phantom itself is a female. While the Grimstroke is a he. That's confusing. The ability. Huh, so he summons a Phantom, I guess. Your Stroke of Fate. Grimstroke paints a path of ink. This is fresh! Damaging is slowing enemies. The damage is increased with each enemy that you get. Let's do this ability first. Let's see. Uh, burdened. Ah! Like burdened, he says. Forward. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's arranged. It said, and it says it's a support hero. A steady hand. Oh boy. Who's that? Ah, where is he? Get it. <sighs> Loud. This game is loud, or it's loud in my headphones. See what you're made of. Yeah, you couldn't hear him. I'm here because I'm talking. Of course you can. Not like that. Bow Not the... before oh, me. failing his last hits. Come Got that closer. one. Here, let's do this one. W. A gift. And there's the Phantom. Death oh. imitates they, get, they get silenced. It silences them. Phantom DPS? Oh, Phantom does damage. It said it silences it, doesn't it? Inside the description? 
I'm trying to scream it. Nope, I don't see any silence. Attacks destroy, rune damage, fan of DPS, abstraction. Right. Well, silence the proof. It didn't say the ability would silence them in the description. I don't know where it would. Weird. <laughs> it was always yeah. so. Did I even use stroke of fate? I don't use it. That's that stroke of fate. Okay, yes, that's what that see. does. That's what that ability does. Uh, crimson paint and path it paints a path of ink with its brush. His brush. Damage against slowing enemies. The damage is increased with each enemy the ink hits. Before the ink sets. Huh. The damage is increased with each enemy the ink hits. Just Nothing wasted. Hmm. Yeah. Go watch Purge Gamer. I'm sure Purge Purge Gamer on his YouTube well, channel. No. I'm pretty sure he's gonna cover this character. He covers everything though too. But as yeah. I am that. I'm just doing this as I felt like I wanted to make a video of this when I saw it. I was like, hey, why not? Artistry. It's the first thing that came up on my screen, okay. so... Sure, why not? Dude, this guy is loud. I'm gonna turn down my headphones a little bit. Just a little. As expected. But you can still hear it. Ink swell? What is ink swell? Let's, 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 let's try suppose. it. Oh, right. Ink swell it works on an ally. So, why this guy's a support hero. Alone. Yeah, it goes across person to person, it doesn't just target one person. You, even if you target the guy in the back row, it'll right. take all the guys in front and then take them out. Like, I can take out all these guys in a row with ink, with I few, two, boom, I got all those guys. Just straight row. It's kind of like Monkey That's King awesome. staff, the Monkey King in this game. I'm trying to play as the Monkey King mm -hmm. sometime when I play this. Yeah, I might just do an episode of series. And I'm over this. This is a weird booth. Here, take this out. See, it's a female, apparently. The, fa the fan of itself. Oh, does it just grab them? I'm trying to understand this here I'm playing right now. Yeah. I'm just clicking on this thing. Destroy it already. There we go. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out his abilities. Seems pretty okay. cool. Neat. I still don't feel like I understand Your how the character works, ends. but... So... Alright, let me just Moving. put it... Put a dummy target. There, there's a dummy target right there, see? As if they could a dummy target! Me. This thing doesn't die. I don't think you can kill it. Here, let's use the... Something see, now it's you. stuck. You can't... Silence! You can't move. <clears throat> Dude. Oh, it does that. Did he just... Let me read that again. Fan of Embrace. Summon the fan that moves quickly towards the target, right? Latches to it when she arrives. Let's see. Once latched, the fan of damage and silence. Oh, it does say silence. I just I didn't see that when I read it. <laughs> if she survives the full latch duration, she rends her victim for a heavy damage and refreshes fan of Embrace full down. Hmm. With dripping okay. Brush. Ah, don't hurt me! Run! Ah. No! Oh, get out of here! Deathstroke. I think that's about it. Bow yeah, I think I've covered everything. Oh, look, here's his ultimate. Soul Bind. I never did the ultimate yet. Let's, let's see. Steady Grace. Get out of here. This way now. Oh, let me see here. Nope, that's an enemy. Group of them too. Group It just grabs you and silences them, and it can't move. And it comes back and I'm kind of a little confused with how Phantom Embrace works. But oh, Soulbind. I need to hear. Let's put in some here enemies here. One, two. The oh, they're probably gonna die true. from the tower. Ah, the tower's killing him. I don't, I can't, Quickly. if only I could summon... Does it replenish my... <laughs> yeah, does it replenish my... My mana or something? When she comes back to me, the phantom? I'm not, I'm confused. I'm confused with how the phantom works. 
Let's do his ult, but you have to cast it on a on a enemy player. It affects enemy heroes. It affects allied units. This only works on allied units. So if I'm playing play this character in game with an actual game, I can lose this. But yeah. And embrace enemy units. Just grab them and they can't move or silence. To get roots into the ground or something. And this is just magical, yeah. That's what that is. As I will it. Mm hmm That's what that ability is. Yeah, I'm trying to understand this guy's ability here. I fear not. Going over it. But I'm sure first will probably is that your best. It'll do a much better explanation on this character. Weird how I'm mentioning Desi another pursuit. YouTuber in this video. It's like why am I doing that? I don't know, but I'll show you at the end of this I video. See where this goes. I can Direct you to this channel if you're interested and you want to find out about Dota 2. But, yeah, I'm going to do more than just Dota 2 on this channel. Yeah, my YouTube channel isn't focused on just everything all about Dota 2. No, it's not. But if you like Dota 2, if you want to see everything about Dota 2 and such, go watch that YouTuber. YouTuber. That's the only reason why I'm, yes. I'm mentioning that guy. But, yeah. I don't know. I hope I don't do a thing where I end up shouting out other YouTubers on my channel. I set I my brush. I don't know, but yeah, right. Yeah, I hope I don't end up doing that. Going. This isn't a channel where I shout out a bunch of other people. Oh, I like helping people, so why do I shout out someone who has, who's not known or Oh, isn't that what people do when they collaborate with other YouTubers? But now what? Am I talking about uh, something else Death besides what I'm this video is about this freaking hero in this game. And here I am talking about other random stuff. How about that? Well, no. Alright, I think I pretty much covered everything here, but how about his ultimate? Okay, let's. Meant to be. I failed to use the ultimate. Oh, I can use the ultimate on the dummy. I never knew you were so close. What does that even do to him? What does that do? Let me read it. Alright. I'm the tiger. Will you so leave me alone? No! Run all you Stupid! Like Don't you attack me. This, a, this is for allied now. units. This is for enemy units. This is for enemy units also. This is dispelled. Cannot be dispelled. Here's spelling we need no. Damage type magical. Next enemy units. Magical damage. They're all magical damage, not physical. None of our physical damage. Yeah. Point target, unit, unit target, and this is a unit target ability. It's not a Nothing point target wasted. ability where you can just click and point to a certain area. Yeah, I probably upgrade this first. Willingly. I must upgrade this, but looking at the amount of damage, oh, movement slowed 80% when it's fully upgraded. The line is true. I'm gonna go on a different. Instead of the dummy, I'm gonna try and do this thing. Forward. And I think that's it for this video. Once I cover, do this real quick. I don't think there is anything else to talk about this hero, but I'm sure that other YouTuber I just mentioned can cover probably all the things a lot better than what I covered with this hero. But I felt like I wanted to just talk about it. Or do something with this. Huh. What does it do? Whoa, look at that. Did you see that? Did you see that? What it did there? Ah, leave me alone. See like you can't. You can't get me stuck there in the silence. It really stopped him. He was stopped. You saw that, right? Gold speed, gold minute. Uh, okay, no. I never go with gold minute. What's up with that? So that only affects allies. Oh, slowed and boom. As and this is a support hero? Really? How about it? This guy's a support hero. That's what it said. Well, they so said at least. In. Uh oh, don't get near the tower. Creeps are in the way. Get out of here, creeps. I paint Why are they focused on the stupid dummy? Wow, I got him attacking the dummy. This is great. Yeah, let me get rid of the dummy. The loose spawn. There we go. Unburdened. There are so many freaking creeps. Here, look at that. There's so many creeps. There's way more creeps than these guys over here. Yes, All of these guys will probably take out the me. tower. Look at that. The tower's gonna die. Look at this. Goodbye, tower. 
That's it for that tower. See, the tower's already dead, just like that. It was out and over by Holy crap, but... There's too many fallen. guys! Look at all those little creeps. There's so many of them. I see oh, where this creeps. goes. I'm gonna do this there. Okay, and I'm gonna use my ultimate again. Refresh. Hit refresh up here. Oh, I can't get out. I can't get out. Let me 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 out. I can't move. I can't move. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, I can't move. Let me out. There we go. I'm out. God dang it. I'm stuck. Let me You're Oh, the real bitch just killed them all. That was crazy. What the fuck? That's what happens. Weird. I this isn't even a real game. It's just a little demo of the hero. All right, let me do this again. One more time. There. I think I'm done now. Whoa! Did that just do it? I think it did. So. Does so this ultimate affect everyone? Like, is the damage spread from person to person? Like, they're all linked together? Is that how this... Is this soul bind? Is that how this ultimate works? I'm the target enemy hero to its nearest allied hero. Oh, that's what it's doing, right? Of course. Allied hero within the bind radius. Preventing both from moving away from each other. They're stuck together. Like, they're tied with chains or handcuffs. Yeah, like they're handcuffed to each other, moving away from each other. Any unit unit targeted spell that either bound hero receive also oh oh any unit targeted spell that either bound hero receives also gets cast on the other hero. If the bind is broken before the duration expires, the initial target will be bound to its nearest allied hero in the radius. I'm a little confused by reading that, but yeah, the t at the top here it just says how much mana and the time limit. To so five seconds cooldown, 130 mana. 24 second cooldown, 130 mana. 100 mana, 25 cooldown. 80 cooldown, 150 mana. Yeah. If your mid tower could talk, it'd be pretty All right. mad at you. I'm gonna use my ultimate and then, and then fan on the embrace. Memory sucks. Right. They're trying to knock down your middle tower. This is oh, one of the things. No, That's right. You stay away from me. You oh, take out everyone. Ah, stop no, attacking me! Oh, lives get out of here! Watch you all go down now. one by one at the same time. Nope, apparently they all didn't die. Okay. Refresh. There we go. Meant to be. Let's do this one more time. Alright. Tower's gone. Oh, they all have one? They're all they're all taking damage from that same phantom. So er everyone takes the same amount of damage as this one person. They all share the same amount of damage because they're all bind together, soul bind. That's cool, that ultimate. We're using attack on one unit. On one enemy opponent, and you attacking that one enemy opponent, the damage you do to that one enemy opponent is going to be sent off to all the other enemy opponents as well. So they all take just as much damage as that one enemy unit you attack. And so they all share the same damage. You want to attack one of them, as they're all so blind. That's how it works. That's what it looks like. Let me try again by using this ability after my ultimate. Yeah, let's try it. Dude, they all took that. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, a creep got Steady in the way. Grace. The creep blocked my phantom. There, refresh again. Okay, refresh. There, ultimate. Use this. Who they all? Oh, see, multiple people got silenced, not just one person. Two people got silenced. So it's not like they all get silenced all together because they're all soul blind. I thought they would all get silenced. Let me try again. Let's try again. Boom. There. Silence. Oh, see, only two people got silenced, not four. Is there only two units got soul blind? I thought all four people were there. I thought all four of the people would get soul blind. I guess only the only soul blinds two people, not all the people within the, the indicator. 
within this little blue indicator will I select this guy. Only two units get bought so by. It's not all four of those people. No, okay. It doesn't work like I thought it does. It only chains or handcuffs one of the two people, not all people in the group. So, that's how it works. Okay, so yeah, I think that covers it. I think I covered everything on this hero. Well, try I wanted to do a video for this guy because I thought, hey, why not? This guy is the first thing that popped up on my screen when I started the game. So, yeah. This one seems like a pretty neat support hero. I might try and play as this guy sometime. And I kind of like him. But I wonder what this ink swell does. Let me read it. Grim Stroke surrounds an allied unit in ink, increasing its movement speed while silencing and disarming it. Wait, you silence and disarming your teammate? What? Is that what it's saying here? Movement speed while silencing and disarming it, as well as making it immune to attacks. So you're immune to attack, to attacks, but you're also disarmed and silenced. Weird. Enemies in range of the allied unit are damaged with inky tendrils over time. Ooh, after three seconds it triggers the flying damage and stun in an area around the unit in proportion to how much ink tendril damage was inflicted across the trace. That's a pretty cool ability. I'll have to try and see what ink swell looks like or what it... Well, oh, it already described, but I want to see it in action. If I can get an ally hero, I can't really get an ally hero. We select new hero, equip new hero. This is all spawn enemies, dummy targets, remove spawns. It's just the enemies, level up max, level, invulnerability, free spell. Huh. Refresh hero. Refresh. Refresh! The real power is under oh. attack! Okay. They didn't defend that sucker! So, dang, defend that sucker! And they're talking about this tower, it's dying! It's dying! Okay, Effortlessly. well, that's it. I think I've covered everything. I feel like covered everything I wanted to. Yeah, I just With wanted to do a video. Brush. I just wanted to do a video over this here, so I was like, why not? Alright, so, yeah, I think that's it for this video, so, yeah. Leave, leave the comments in the, leave what you guys think or thought about this video in the comments down below, if you would like, or do whatever else you would like to do, like, oh, like, spread, whatever, I'm not one to ask that all very often, but, eh, it's up to you if you like the video or not, but, yeah, really, so, with that said, hold on, one more thing, like I said about like I said before at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in finding out more about this game, understanding how to play it and everything, I can try and do that when I do an episode of the series of this game. I can try and help people understand how to play this game. Like, I feel like I want to do walkthroughs and stuff like that. Sure, I'd like to try and do that, but there's one guy who does it, I feel like, who do a lot better than I I do it. But, yeah, like I said, his YouTube channel, Perch Gamer. I'll direct you to his channel at the end of this video. I can do that, but... Yeah, I'll do that actually. Share it to you. So you can go see who I'm talking about. Yeah, go check out that YouTuber. He covers Dota 2. I've seen his videos. I've seen him from time to time. So that's kind of how I found out and know some stuff with Dota 2 as well when I started playing this game. When I didn't know much about it. But yeah, go check out Bird 2 if you like that. So yeah, when, and with that said, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye! Power's under attack! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah!